and we're back. Yeah, we are back with another episode of Sly 4 Thieves in Time. In our last episode, we rescued Ryuichi out of prison. But now we have ourselves more bigger problems to contend with. We need to get Ryuichi's sushi shop back, which, quite frankly, is very important. So let's get started with the next mission, Sushi House Startup. Yeah, the only reason why I'm fibbing my lines is because I'm still new at this. Though unfortunately, this next mission requires us to go straight ahead. There's a gold treasure, but we can worry for that later. Don't worry, I will make sure I collect everything much later. Have no fear. Hmm. I think there is a way we can get ourselves up there. Ah, there's a way. Okie dokie. Oh boy. Can't believe I missed that jump. Whatever. Ah, there we go. Now we can really begin the next mission. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, Sly. It's time for Ryuichi to reclaim his sushi restaurant. It looks like the front door is the only entrance. We need to get rid of that guard if we're going to get Ryuichi inside. However, security is on high alert since we broke him out of jail, and we can't risk raising an alarm. I think this one is going to require some misdirection. What do you mean? I bet if you wore that samurai armor you stole, you'd be able to relieve that guard at the front door. Right. Plus, I just look good in armor. Police! No one gets in or out, understand? I don't want any more problems. What's with this guy? But anyway, let's get to the nitty gritty and get these two losers out of here. Oy. Dismissed. Well, that wasn't so bad. Now, this is where the fun begins. I'm so going to enjoy this. I guess I don't need to tell you about your own place. Quite ingenious of you to use your sushi knives as door keys, by the way. Bentley son, I am a ninja master. Right. Uh, my bad. Anyway, my scan reveals your sushi knives are still here. The bad news is the guards definitely have them. There are also some security traps you've definitely never seen before. Bentley son, though the bamboo forest is dense, water flows through it without effort. Oh uh, yeah. Just be careful not to alert the guards. Now get those knives and take your restaurant back. Hmm. I was unable to practice my techniques while locked in that cage. Let me recall the leaping dragon technique. Basically, the ninja spire jump at work. Ooh, found this one right here. This should save us a lot of trouble. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, well, we gotta be careful. We don't want to get ourselves detected like I've done before. Believe me, it wasn't pretty. Anyway, so Ryuichi's gameplay style is, quite frankly, a little different than most characters. Yeah, he has access to the ninja spire jump, which was the first move Sly Cooper gained after the first mission of the yeah you get the point now we gotta watch out for these security lasers get detected and we're done for gotta wait for it to pass there we go now we can continue without difficulty scan indicates one of the nearby guards has your knife First time. well at least you can get it here then. Ryoichi's carving knife can only cut sushi properly with a knife this <laughs> It appears my knife locks were not sufficient to keep trouble out. I must work on this. 
One down, two to go. And this is where the ninja spire jump at full throttle works. Uh, I can't believe I messed that up. Yeah, I had no idea, so let's try this again. Don't worry, this will be the only failure you'll ever see from me. The first and only one. Well, I gotta wait till the guard goes to sleep and then we can progress. Now we can progress. Let's see if there's anything of interest around here. Nope. Nothing yet. I just keep on moving. Oh yeah, later on you get like an ability that lets you run fast while you're like going high up. Very useful if I do say so myself. And now we found the second one, the fillet knife. This is my finest knife. My sashimi will be perfect. All right, Ryuichi. Only one more knife to go. Yep, what Bentley said. Oh, great. They now installed, like, lasers on the ceiling and walls. And make worse by the fact that these little platforms here, they collapse after a few seconds. Oh, and if you touch the laser, you die instantly. So you have to make every shot count. Ah! First failure, more like failure number two. Doesn't matter to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I could just get off and it doesn't, like, fall apart or something. Alright. Now. There we go. Now we can continue. Now this last one's going to be a real tough one because there are many guards around here. Clear these vermin from my restaurant. Though our intention is not here. Knives. Then I will show El Hefe this shop cannot be closed. You're right, Ryoichi. We're making sure that it doesn't. But what we're after isn't even here. It's actually in there. That's the whole point, exactly. Because when I did this before, I can't believe I literally messed up on this. Yeah, I literally had like a, like a major fit. But fortunately, it won't happen now. And most of these are just ceiling lasers. So, no biggie here. And there's that lame brain guard with the third knife. And this one's really different. A cleaver. Okay, now turn on your restaurant side and send El Jefe a message. Not before I take him down first. Bring greatness to this shop again. We will, I assure you. And with it, we just unlock the third and final door. Hmm. Leads to a boiler. Though knowing Ryoichi, he'll make a pretty big impact right here. But before we do that, there is in fact one more right here. See that? Number six. Every five masks you find nets you like an unlockable. So keep that in mind when you're trekking through this game. That made a pretty big impact. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.